This is Ozarks Fox AM. Good morning and welcome to Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Rabe. Yes, you are. <laughs> and I'm Kelly Smith. Thank you for joining us. And you today. sure are, Kel. <laughs> How's it going? It's going good. It's going good. Hey, I was just saying, I love your jacket, by the Thank way. Thank you. And it's my Christmas plaid. Yes, and this is the first time that we have not clashed in about two weeks because we've been doing the Christmas thing. Kelly, Actually, I, you've yeah. been doing the Christmas thing, and I haven't so much, but. I've been doing Christmas since the Monday after Thanksgiving. Yes. The, the official Alisa Rafa Challenge. That's right. I just love saying that. We need to have a whole graphic made for the. We need a stinger. Yes, the least is a great. We need a big old stinger, a big graphic that said the Alisa Rafa Challenge that's with right. echoes, echoes, that's right. echoes. Echo, echoes. So yeah, I, I love this. I actually I didn't wear it today because I wanted to do something a little different. I actually have pants in the same material. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I prefer this. I'm not a matchy matchy kind of gal mm -hmm. in the sense of it's just like so much if you wear the whole thing. Then you're going to hate the next week and You a know half. what? If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything. I, I know. won't say anything. Tomorrow, I tomorrow I'll be wearing the matching pants with another suit and Kelly will be like, oh wait, with another suit? I totally, I have so many suits that have matching jackets oh, I got, and pants. No, I've seen those, but I'm saying yeah. I, even for me, I just prefer to have one bright piece and one demure piece. I, I literally go home and I was trying to pick out yesterday after yeah. work and I just kind of like, I'm in the mood for something different. Because usually I would wear the pants that match, but it just was a little bit well, much. Well, when are you going to bring a suit for all of us to wear? I need to bring them in. That. Well, at least, well, I'll bring jackets in so everybody could have a festive jacket on at least. Okay. Like these suit jackets. Maybe, maybe the last day that we are here before the, the holiday break. Yes, that will be fun. Okay. And by the way, speaking yeah. of clashing, I was watching our video of us singing again, and oh. I'm so bright, like, Red and you're like pink and I was I know. like, and I knew that was the wrong thing. I can't. Well, no, you know I, what? it doesn't look bad. Look at the couches. I'm yes. not going to be able to wear pink again until after the holidays. <laughs> but <laughs> I told you, bad. I did the Christmas tree in pink, orange, and red, and, and it looked and great. And it looked great. It really did. I know it sounds crazy. The only color I'd like to add in next time is yellow. How great would oh, that be? Oh, that would be good. You know, you think about those colors, you think it's, it all sounds crazy, but when you put them together, it is very beautiful. I love Okay. Them. Yes. Well, you know what time it is, Jerry? What time? time Wait, let me time. check my watch. What yeah. time is it? It's time to check in with Lauren Barnes for the Oh, headlines. Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Oh, hey, guys. How are you? I love your bell sleeve, by the oh, way. Thank it's you. Gorgeous. Kelly and I talk about matching. We match. We, we have this whole thing going on. We talked this morning, yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> we didn't, which is even more important. That's I know, yeah. it's true. Um, I have this first headline for you guys, which is about some people doing interesting things with Christmas decorations. Mm -hmm. uh, they put a Christmas tree to good use, wanting to get a pothole fix in their neighborhood. Could not get any attention on it at all. So what they did is uh, one of the people in the neighborhood was going through her attic and thought that you know maybe she had some extra Christmas decorations and put it right there smack dab <gasps> in the pothole. Look at that. What? Ornaments and everything. And her thought process here is, you know, if people see this, one, they're not going to ruin their car because they're not going <laughs> to exactly. drive over it. And two, we're just spreading some Christmas joy. So Santa, actually two Santas get a little bit involved here too. I think she had good intentions, and I have to tell you, I have ruined my tires by hitting a massive pothole, so I can oh, yeah. appreciate what she's trying to do, but is there a second part? Oh, yes, and look at that. This is the follow-up. So you saw that metal board there? Yeah. The city listened. They uh, saw the Christmas tree, and they at least temporarily fixed that pothole for them, so hopefully. <laughs> I, I, I commend her for doing that, because there's actually a pothole on Division that I take, and you know, when you drive here in the morning, you have yeah. the cup of coffee, yeah. and I didn't see it, and I hit Ooh. it, and that coffee spilled oh on God. me. So I'd appreciate at least knowing it's there, because you can't right. see it at nighttime when you're driving. Not at all. And, That's you know, true. the city works hard to fix them, but unfortunately, this time of year, with the heat and the cold and the expanding and the restricting, mm -hmm. it's hard for them to keep up with all of them. So good for her for getting some attention you to know, it. You know, our road looked really great until somebody cut a tree and it fell and smashed the... Oh. Yeah. So maybe it's not deep enough for a Christmas tree. What could I put in that <laughs> <laughs> so they'll come fix the road. Just put a poinsettia. Poinsettia, a, there you a go. good size one. All right, good idea. <laughs> hey, perfect. We got solutions. We got today. solutions we got here on Fox News. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We also, up next, we have uh, some people are trying to come up with a solution to climate change. Okay. And they're using trees in a little bit of a different way. It's something called a vertical forest growing in the heart of Milan. These are actually apartments uh, that are loaded with trees. And they say it's an effective way to fight climate change, plant those trees on top of the buildings. Uh, the city wants to plant 3 million of these by 2030. So... Uh, the architect on this says the buildings can absorb 30 tons of carbon dioxide every year. Um, and so, yeah, they're just getting ready. They say this is the new thing and this is the plan. What do you guys think? I like the look, actually. 
I, I do too. I want a house like that. Yeah. yeah. I, I want that so badly. I love it. I have to ask you guys, are you the type of people that needs a little bit of greenery yes. and some space? I mean, I know yes. the trees here, you put that on the set. It, yes. It's fresh. It mm -hmm. is. It, it makes you feel, and, and first of all, the absorbing of the carbon monoxide, that is great. Yeah. I just, I was thinking if I could scale that down to just like a smaller house here in the Ozarks because I love the greenery. The first time I ever went to New York, I hope Lisa Raffa doesn't get mad at me. The first time I ever went to New York, <laughs> I was just like overwhelmed with the concrete jungle. Yeah. Uh. So I was in college in Arkansas. The first thing I did when I got back to Arkansas, I went to a big open field and I just went, <sighs> I have to breathe. It's called grounding. Yes. Yes, and you have to have it. And I think that's going to be great for the city and great for people's lungs. And we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll have to see if it catches on elsewhere. Hopefully it does. I would love to see those all over the country. Then you can hang out in New York for longer. Yes. Oh, that would be That great. would be, a, I'm telling you, if they want a great hotel in New York City, that is the best gimmick ever right there. Why we wouldn't you, want to stay at that why hotel. Don't, why don't you put one in, Jer? Yes, I will just call. I'll move some funds around. There you go. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> Make it happen. I'll call Ellie for yeah. a loan. Well, you know, You're basically yeah. Santa, so. Basically. Right. Yeah. A little bit. I'll I love it, though. You always have the best headlines, Lauren. Yes, you do, Lauren. Oh. Thank you so much. I'll tell well, Joe you said that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's always good to know what's happening in the weather so we can dress right. Elisa Rafa's got the lowdown. What's going on, Elisa? Good morning, guys. We're starting out chilly, but not as cold as it was yesterday. It is 36 degrees in Branson, with dry roads and sunshine and a south and southwest wind. Look at this temperature change from yesterday, about 15 to 20 degrees now, warmer than we were this time yesterday. And that's because we've got this south and southwest wind that's kicking a little bit more, so it's how pushing this warm air into the Ozarks. It's 28 in Springfield, 34 in Monette, and 30 in Fort Leonardwood. We'll have dry roads on your way to school, dry roads on your way home as well. Things will just be breezy out there, so be careful. Next to trucks on the highway, 56 degrees by dismissal, mostly sunny, breezy, and warmer. So put up the lights today. Maybe do some small things outside. I'm just a tad concerned about the gusts to 30 miles per hour, so be careful about doing anything on the roof. The southerly gusts will also bring us a dry air, and that dry air will bring us a fire danger. Combined with the gusty winds, so no outdoor burning today either. Uh, we've got these gusts again, 30 to 35 miles per hour out of the south and west today. Uh, those gusty winds will bring in these warmer temperatures for us, 50s today, some 30s and 40s tonight, and then we'll be mild again tomorrow with these temperatures in the 50s. So if you need to rake the leaves today, uh, we will have those breezy winds. Winds will be lighter tomorrow, and then Thursday. Windy, rainy, and wet. We'll have another big system roll through with a windswept rain as we're out for Bucket Blitz. A color 10 and Ozarks Fox teaming up with the Salvation Army for Bucket Blitz at FFO Home this year. It will be rainy there, so we'll all have some of our umbrellas and some hoods up, but still trying to do our part for the community. Uh, we'll have that rain linger through Friday. Temperatures only come down to the lower 40s on Friday. We'll clear out the skies, and then we're back in the 50s by Sunday and Monday. So overall, a pretty mild week ahead. Jeremy Kelly. Elisa, I want to ask Elisa a question. Elisa, did you see that story with the hotel and the trees? Yes, yes. Okay, you saw that. Imagine if that was in New York and in the winter all of the trees would be covered oh. with snow. How it would be like a magical Beautiful. wonderland. It would, be. it would be pretty. I gotta tell you, <laughs> Central Park is, is gorgeous. It's that way to kind of get out of the concrete. Because Central Park, you, you get lost, you don't even know where you are. It's so huge and there's lots of greenies. So I, I do think it, it would be very successful. Will you I take us so. on a trip there to yeah, Elisa, you know your way around. Will you take <laughs> us um, to New York? Would you be our tour guide? Come home with me for Christmas. Mom will make extra food. She always does. I'm free. <laughs> On Christmas, we're doing our does, early. Elisa, does your mom make big masticholi? Masticholi? She makes big everything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Thanks Thank so you. much, Elisa. Yeah, I love. That. I'm craving Italian yes, food now. Me too. All right, coming up, our good friend Doug Gabriel is here with us, and he's going to sing some Christmas songs. I heard him warming up, Kelly. He's so good. He's amazing. Don't go anywhere. Don't change the channel. We'll be right back. He really. I mean, I was like, oh, his yeah. voice is just so so amazing. So amazing.